Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flag in Affinity Designer version 2. Here I am in the desktop version. You can do it on your iPad as well. The process is very similar. So first I will simply draw a rectangle. A rectangle tool. This is a rectangle. I will use almost white color, just a little bit gray into it. And that's it. Most flags are three times two in aspect ratio. If you've got some specific flag you want to build, you can check that on Wikipedia to know exactly what should be the aspect ratio for that country flag. If your flag is really complex and you cannot just like draw it with simple rectangles, you can probably find SVG on Wikipedia as well for that. So the flags are not copyright. You can get a proper vector flag easily online. All right, in my case, it's really simple. So I will just start with the rectangle and I can make it like 30 times 20 millimeters. It's very tiny, but I did that just to get this three times two aspect ratio. And now I am stretching this up by holding shift. This way I maintain the aspect ratio that I need. All right, simply comment C, comment V, copy and paste. And for that copy, I will use only half of the height. The snapping helped me a lot here. And then I changed this bottom part to be red. And you can guess that's a flag of Poland. All right, nicely done. Now I will select both of those layers and we will give it a wave. So we will use a warp tool. That's a new addition in version two. It's over here in the layer panel. Warp, mesh, and we got those nice warping points we can work with. So I select this whole row, all four points at the same time. I will move it slightly up. Those points over here, I'll move them slightly down. And we got our wave. You can select those points at the end and you can align them with the curve just like that. And same with the beginning here. The best part of this is this is actually the vector warp. What does it mean? If you open this, this is warp group and inside that there's a proper vector shape for the bottom part and the top part. I can change this anytime. Take a look. Now this flag is different. What if I duplicate this thing? Move it up and change it again. As you can see, it's editable. It's all in vectors. So that's a huge benefit of using warp tool in Affinity Designer. It's still a vector warp, not a rasterized warp. All right, so as the finishing touch, we're going to do something like maybe a bit of shadow and light. Before that, I will show you something really cool. If I got additional shape, so we got this element and take a look, that's outside the warping group. So that's a regular vector element. But if I drag it inside the warp, take a look right now. It's following that wall we set up for the flag. You see it? That's really cool. That's what the warping group is. And we're going to use this property right now. I will simply go to inside the warp group and duplicate this white color. Right click on the layer panel, duplicate. I will drag it above. So that's at the top right now. Let's make it gray. Actually, I want to change the fill color to be a gradient. So let's go for that. I got gradient fill right now. And we can set up some additional points. I want this one to be darker with some noise in it. Next point, that will be bright point, almost white. At the end, I need a darker point again with some noise. All right. And here, a bright point. Thanks to this gradient, we'll be able to use this duplicate as our lightning map. So I can just now change the blending mode for this guy and take a look. 
we managed to blend this nicely into the original flag. All right, let me just go back with the red color as it should be. And for the white color, if you've got white in your flag, make it not completely white, make it a bit gray so we can have a light and shadow on it. And here it is, take a look. We make a nice little flag using the warp group. So that's how you can use the warp tool to make a flag in Up Into Designer. It's all a vector process, so it's all editable. If you tell me that you need a flag of Indonesia instead of Poland, no problem, take a look. I can just grab this, <laughs> I can just grab this bottom part, make this gray upper part that's now indonesia right so <laughs> it's all editable and you can of course make different shapes using the wavy nodes as i did here so we can always go back to the work group and you see my notes i can now realign them other way around i can move them around i can adjust them as i want it's all editable not rasterized all right guys i hope this video was helpful Keep in mind, I got over 100 tutorials for Affinity Designer, so don't forget to check the playlist and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!